it feels like it's just kind of out of nowhere. Honeywell apparently <laughs> has quantum supremacy yeah, now. Yeah, what? Okay, I don't really know. <laughs> Maybe, so, maybe this is maybe this is like embarrassing, but I, what does Honeywell make like fridges? Yeah, they make like thermostats. Okay, uh, <laughs> and this is coming courtesy of RC Mail, Mail. Sorry, I don't know how to say your name. On the forum, <laughs> thanks for the contribution. Anyways, Honeywell. Yeah. So, basically, how it works is, is um, you know, <laughs> most quantum computers they work using superconducting qubits. So, I did like three minutes Googling this, so I apologize for brutalizing it for the small number of people that are quantum experts <laughs> Destroy. that are listening. But basically, you know, normally with a quantum computer, you have a very thin ring of aluminum that is chilled until it becomes a superconductor. And then, like, you know, current just starts flowing in mm -hmm. it because it's a superconductor. And they're able to do stuff that basically allows for the current to flow in both directions at one time. And I think that there's an issue with that because you're not able to read it while you're like running the stuff. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that Great is an explanation, issue. Alex. <laughs> so the one from Honeywell, they instead use ion traps. So they have strontium or something along those lines. Can I just say that sounds like super sci-fi? Yeah. We have to get past the ion traps. Continue. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so then, well, well, it's kind of like trapped, dangling there by electricity above like a gold film or like a gold strip. Right. They're able to change it from a state of zero to one. And then they have a laser that reads the atoms. And so basically if it's in state zero, it does nothing. But if it's in state one, it emits a photon and boop to boop, you find out what it's doing. So the fun thing about that is they're able to create if loops. If loops. Yes. Is that like if this, then that? Yeah. I know about that. And so apparently that's great. I, I could have told you that. <laughs> um, so anyway, to build this quantum computer, Honeywell partnered with J.P. Morgan, another one where it's like, like the, what? I don't even know what J.P. Morgan does, but I know they're in the finance industry somewhere. And also Microsoft. Which, oh, that's a bank, isn't it? Uh, yes. <laughs> These WAN shows are horrible for me. <laughs> Everyone just finds out that I know nothing about banks. Yeah, you know? it turns out Honeywell does a lot of stuff in defense and aerospace and has a lot of expertise in vacuums and cryogenics, which is how they were able to do this. Honeywell does? Honeywell does. Man, they have such an innocuous name <laughs> for like for the, for being involved in that kind of stuff. Like I think of I, I you know, I don't even have much brand awareness of what Honeywell <laughs> is, but like if I had to guess, I'd be like I see like a Honeywell toaster one time. Yeah, like Turns out they're making secret super soldiers <laughs> in labs. Okay, now why, but now why is this particular configuration for a quantum computer, why is that a big deal? Why does that make that more powerful than like a traditional one? I think that it's just because it's easier to make a whole bunch of them and run them in parallel. Okay. And it's easier to like start and stop it. So will they, will they achieve quantum supremacy? Um, <laughs> they, they have a paper. I have it in the doc as paper by Honeywell for super nerds. Um, oh. And in I'll it, they that. claim that they have quantum supremacy, but it hasn't been verified by other people. Oh, so they're like actually being kind of, uh, they're actually kind of being a bit humble about it instead of Google, who's just like, we did it! Um, oh, I wait. don't know if they would be humble. The reports that I have said were like, I'm we'll wait screen. for a second. I'm on your screen now. Oh, you are? You can He's, show the people. Um, what, what are you looking at? Cl I'm Alex? looking at what this paper that I honestly don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like... <laughs> Okay, there might be a few people in the chat. If you're if you're a quantum scientist in the chat, let us know uh, that you think that we're talking nonsense. But uh, uh, otherwise, I think most people here have no idea what the heck. Yeah, let's see what wisdom we have here. Tommy Gun, ninety two twenty eight says, "Don't want to be rude, but Riley's mustache makes him look like an '80s porn star." But I like that style. That's the that's well, it's and, not the idea. And hi, Alex. <laughs> I accept it. So, uh, oh, JP Morgan, JP Morgan Chase. Is that what <sighs> you said? Yeah. Like Chase, the bank Chase. Yeah. Here's the other thing, guys. We're Canadian, so we don't have. I don't think we have Chase. And maybe JP Morgan's involved in some stuff up here, but it's not like a household name. Or maybe if you're on the stock market, I don't know. <laughs> I should. I, I'm with a credit yeah. union. Okay. New, new, uh, we got a neuroscientist in the chat, but that's not going to help us. <laughs> I mean, maybe it will. 
Maybe consciousness is based on quantum mechanics. Did you ever think about that? Or maybe they're building quantum mechanics, so it's more like based off of consciousness. Okay. I think that's kind of the point. Yeah, neuromorphic computing. Yeah. Dang, dude. If, I mean, if I if that's not time for uh, to talk about our sponsors, then I don't know what it is. Where am I? What I what am I on here? It's someone time said, to talk. <laughs> what? Do you have more so, to say about the quantum? No. Someone says quantum supremacy means that they can build an AI that will dominate the world, right? No, I think it just means that they built the best one. I think they just mean... Yeah. No, 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 no. No, quantum what? supremacy, I know what this is. Do you oh, know yeah. what it is? Clearly not. Ha <laughs> ha. This is something Riley knows about. Quantum supremacy is the point at which uh, a quantum computer can do something uh, better than a traditional computer oh. or something. Okay. Some, something along those lines. Okay, look, somebody now somebody's going to say what the actual <laughs> definition is in the chant. Oh, here we got... Lebesguemeasure101 <laughs> says, in quantum computing, quantum supremacy is the goal of demonstrating that a programmable quantum device can solve a problem that classical computers practically cannot. Okay, there we go. Cool. So it's not that they do it better, it's that they do something that our computers now can't even do at all. So Google said that they, Google said that they had achieved it, but then turns out that, okay, well, they didn't. Our computers could do what their their computer did, but it would just take like a while. Oh, and someone in the chat asked, like normal quantum computing needs cooling to be a superconductor. Does this need it? Basically, yes. It's under a vacuum. It's super duper cold. Right. It's maybe slightly easier to make, but it's still, <clears throat> you know, you're not making it in your basement unless you're that one kid that did. What? Yeah, there's like an 11 year old that somebody made a, made a quantum, quantum computer, computer in their basement. Well, I think it was like in his living room, but it was like pretty wild. Is it Stranger I, Things? Yeah, like. Sounds like something. <laughs> I have made life. 